while there are fewer people to do it, operating a ship needs more skills than ever. The opportunities for error are great, and the consequences costly and far-reaching. To overcome this threat, all concerned must operate at peak performance. Fatigue rules that out. That's why it pays dividends to match manning levels to operational needs. Struggling on manfully and fudging the working hours puts the ship and the entire crew at risk. Fatigue training is to become compulsory. In the meantime, guidelines are available from the IMO and the US Coast Guard. Boredom and low morale are powerful enemies of performance, but there are always ways to prevent them. Make the best of the available accommodation. Respect ethnic preferences. Enable seafarers to keep in touch with home. Ah, super, super, baš mi je drago. And develop their potential to give them the prospect of continuing employment and promotion. But however well motivated, a man alone is at the greatest risk from human error. That's why communication and teamwork are vital and not just on the bridge. A pre-arrival meeting can identify many latent failures. Taking the lashing with Boston. More and more errors are made by shore persons. A key meeting is an excellent opportunity to spot where these might occur. Before you move it, make sure the bats are out of the way. On this rig, every job is picked apart before they tackle it. They've learned the hard way to look out for each other. It's an excellent habit to develop. Many incidents would be prevented if we routinely cross-checked passage plans, loading plans and stability calculations, and lineups. Remember, we're looking for a near-miss situation and what corrective actions they took. A near-miss is a golden opportunity to learn. But they won't come out unless everyone's certain they won't be blamed. That or somebody got in a hurry when they were working on the top. Some owners encourage anonymous reports and send them round their fleet man is falling, it's, it's just going to direct them straight down. It's just going to bounce and rattle all the way all down until it hits yeah. the bottom there. That's what, it's 90 better. foot? Exactly. Oh, that would have been it for him. Yeah. Human error can be overcome with communication, teamwork, and commitment, ideally from the top. There is no quick fix. Changing a culture can take years. But is there an alternative? Human error costs the industry a million dollars a day. Can you please tell me what do you know about the accident? The real costs are higher still. Wasted time. Do you hear him cry? ruined reputations. Lost business. Lost jobs. Even criminal proceedings. Worst of all, thousands of injuries and deaths. Adam. Adam! When lives 
livelihoods and the world we live in are all on the line. There's no room for error.